S U N D A Y song ring. A A T F P. Olive Five. Welcome to Sunday Song Rating 33. We have Isaac. Isaac. Simon. Nene. And Andre. We're not going to try to get you on camera. We're just going to chill and do this song. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. <laughs> hey, Andre. Go. No. Oh, what has a meaning for you? Andre, Andre, what's the meaning? Privacy. Andre, what's the meaning of your hiding? Why do you... What? What? I'm Solitude. gonna come around this way. Can I see you no. this way? What? <laughs> We're just gonna chill and do this song. Y'all enjoy, you hear? Sunday song number 33. The universe is out to love you.
that that song happen? Simon and I saw cat puke on the kitchen floor. We both have pretty queasy stomachs. I went outside to get some fresh air and there he was and we were both doing our scream. Ah, no! No! And then, um, and then he looks at me seriously and he goes, what does this mean? And you know, we've been we've been doing the animal stuff. You know, you saw the last video. He had the baby praying mantis on him. He had a grasshopper before that, and then there was that snake that Isaac found. All of these things had a meaning, but cat puke? Really? We found one, actually. This song came about, like shortly after that, they all went off and, and ran some errands, and I stayed home to cook, and Isaac was so kind to clean up that cat puke. Thank you so much. And in return, he got a really good meal when he got home. While they were gone, this song happened. I was going through the videos to edit the last song they songwriting, and I was looking through and deleting stuff, because actually that's kind of the meaning of the cat puke. I had to delete stuff from my computer, puke it out. Oh yeah, I was looking through, I was looking through the videos and I found it was so crazy because I found the words and I said to Simon, the universe is out to love you. Don't you like that? It's like instead of the universe is out to get you, like all the paranoid times that happen. Well, then I was going through the Sunday songwriting and I had actually recorded myself singing that one line. It was so random. I don't know if I even did the melody that we're doing now. Okay, cause I know the universe is out to love me. That's okay, cause I know the universe is out to love me. But the song just happened. It's called The Universe is Out to Love You. It's a hemp revival for our own survival, yeah. Video on. My heart's beating so fast. Did I tell you my story about Jimmy Carter? And that's what I was just learning about God. And his picture was everywhere, so I thought he was God. Focus, focus, what do I do? Get him to say, hemp for America. So are you campaigning here? I said, are, I'm are you, here. I, I mean, no, are you, right. I don't. But you're traveling, you said, for a couple Just, weeks? Or? I'm here. We had a, a national conference of state legislatures oh, event. Right. I wanted Atlanta. to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. so all the bunch of senators and legislators from other states were, we converged on Atlanta for five days, and then I stayed for two more extra. That's amazing. To come down here. So. I was... It, it, was, was, it was so expensive, but like I really wanted to go. Can I hold it? Um, this is a, it's a yeah, bit. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. <gasps> hi. This is just say hi, and then I could freeze it. <laughs> Can I give you a present? I handed him a CD and some information about the hemp industrial farming that folded up inside of it. I hope he reads it. I had like two seconds, and I feel like I didn't do a very good job. I should have done something better instead of just being so nervous about getting in trouble for videotaping. I thought they might destroy my laptop or something, so I quickly shut it off. Journey home from Plains, Georgia. As you can see, we got to meet Jimmy Carter and hear his inspiring talk in church and sing some beautiful songs in church. It was totally worth the trip. I even got some peanut ice cream at the local store. I talked to this guy, Milton, at the restaurant. He said that he worked on a peanut farm growing up. It was still during segregation times, so he couldn't own the farm. He did say that there was peanut oil being made to fuel cars. And we also talked to someone from Moultrie, Georgia, who was very much in favor of legalizing hemp and I gave him the Georgia Hemp Economic Revival information and the Industrial Hemp Farming Act. Also, Saxby Shambliss was his little league coach, so he's gonna talk to him and tell him to please co-sponsor the Hemp Industrial Farming Act. Because we want to better Georgia's economy and create jobs. There's plenty of farmers out here in Plains and in other places who are ready to grow it and ready to sell it and ready to get people working in those carpet mills. Do you hear that? All the senators of Georgia hoping to approach Jimmy Carter's Rams. son who is in the Georgia Senate. I'm thinking maybe he can propose and sponsor the Georgia resolution for him. 
right now I am headed to Georgia to play some elegant piano at Parker's on Ponce. What a Sunday. What a Sunday, I tell you. So excited about next Saturday. Check out this flyer right here. This is going to be an incredibly fun evening where we are joining to gather and raise money to stop the nuclear plants from being built. We want solar power. We don't want nuclear power. There's too much risk in that. There's absolutely people getting sick from who live close to the nuclear plants. Not only that, they're asked to leave. So all these people who have farming businesses in Savannah, they could be growing hemp, by the way, on that perfect farmland for hemp, they all have to leave their farms from, you know, their, their heritage farms because the nuclear plants are coming and, and they won't be able to grow vegetables there. Very, very sad. We're singing for that. I know we do a lot of benefit gigs. We're Viva and the Flying Penguins. We love to do it and we love to share our music for a good cause. And now we're actually inviting you to support us with our Kickstarter. We want to raise $20,000. We're asking for eight because we can do it for 8,000. But if we have 20,000, it'll make our lives a little bit easier to create the next album, Key of You. So we, we can't do it without y'all. We love giving this music to you. And so it's up to you to help us create something that you can take home with you. If you donate like more than 20, like automatically you get that CD also. And we really appreciate that. So everybody have a beautiful Sunday. Thinking positive, thinking really positive about everything. Cause we've got a great life together here on earth. Play nice. Play nice in that guitar. Tell yeah. me, Play what nice does pack okay, yeah. mean to you? Thank you. Thank you. Every day is a meaning. <laughs> Any anything meaningful you want to share with the people? Every day got a meaning. Thank you, baby. We love you. We do love you. Everything means love. August 24th, the Land Trust, y'all, we will see you there, because everything has a meaning, yes it does, Nuclear Watch South, we are supporting you, yes we are, gathering for a cause has a meaning, meditating together has a meaning, see you next week. Please subscribe to our channel. Aviva and the Flying Penguins. Aviva and the Flying Penguins dot com. <laughs> <laughs>